Okay, so when it comes down to it, and this is what we'll get into on our next call when it comes to landing pages, because that's a whole that's a whole another call where I help you set it all up. But mm -hmm. but I have them already done for you. I have all these pages already done for you, so it's going to be super simple. It's just plug and play. Like I have them all done. But again, they see the listing, they click, they come straight here. Here is the flow. It's two pages. That's it. So when it comes to landing pages, there's nothing overwhelming. You don't have to be a web designer and know all this coding. These softwares provide the template and all we do is edit. That's it. So simple. So they click, they come here, a few bullet points on the property. And look, you notice it's just one button. Most of the times when I see a listing, here's what I see. When I see a listing and there's an actual button to click on, let me show you an example. But again, this is what you'll see most of the time is, is just the phone number. They, they, yeah. they post the image and they just want someone to call like, like as if someone's really going to call. Um, especially if, if, if these are all over the place. So look, here's a link. Let's see. I'm guilty. I've done that too. Oh yeah. Everybody does. <laughs> so, so now we're going to kind of just narrow it in and I'm going to show you how, how it's really done. So here's the, here, here's the deal. When, when, when it's not just a, a listing or an image, I should say like this one at the top. So a bunch of images and she just wants us to comment. That's all mm -hmm. there is there's or, or call there's the phone number, but there's nothing else to click on. Right. It's either that way that most agents are doing it or they'll do it this way where where I saw that link, wherever, the, where did that link go right here? So so this this Ruth, there's the two minute video of the property, which is perfect. But then when I click, she's sending me to a page like this and you see the form over here to the right. Like I see that to the right. But the problem with this page is the fact that there's so much shit going on. And that's the problem with most real estate websites is that you guys have these beautiful freaking websites that are so informational or so inf informative, but that's the problem. They're too beautiful. They're too informative. So if you're running an ad and I click and I come here before you know it, I'm looking at restaurants before you know it, I'm looking at freaking what kind of events are going on before you know it, I'm freaking clicking on your Instagram freaking icon. And all of a sudden I'll follow you on Instagram. And then before you know it, my food is freaking burning on the stove and I got to go. You mm -hmm. just paid for that ad. Like you just paid for me to click. And because there's so much going on on your website, that's what makes it so ineffective. That's what makes, makes, it, makes you look back in a week and you're like, damn, I spent all this money and I didn't get shit out of it because there's too much going on on the website. So if you notice mortgage calculator, printable, all, all this stuff is overwhelming. So if I click from your ad and I come over here and I see all this information, you didn't tease me at all with nothing. I got all the information. That's not the property for me. And I'm out. Right. Rather than doing that, we're clicking. We're coming to one single page where there ain't nothing to click on but a yellow button. That's how you capture leads. So here's the flow. They come here a few bullet points of the property, that background image would obviously be the image of the listing. And then they click the one yellow button. This is where they opt in. Thank you for your interest in 777 Plaza Boulevard. Name, email, send me the details. That's page one. Here's page two. Page two, they land here. Thank you for your interest. This would be a simple 45 second video that you shoot on your cell phone. Hey guys, this is Danielle with the Dan Danielle Reese team. Thank you so much for your interest in this property. Let me tell you a little bit, little bit about it and why you're going to want to schedule your showing now. So there's four bullet points that I, that I hit on, on this one 45 second video. Number one, I'm thanking them. Thank you for your interest. And I'm telling them a little bit about the property and giving them, giving them some details. Number two, I'm introducing myself. My name is Danielle Reese. I'm with the Danielle Reese team. Here's why I'm so fired up to show you this property. Here's why the market is doing this. And here's why I'm so excited. A brief intro of who Danielle is. That's number two. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. I just emailed you all the details of the property. I emailed you a ton of photos. I even sent you a video. So make sure you check your email right away. And also be on the lookout for my future emails because I have a ton of properties that are coming on the market that you're not going to want to miss out on. So check your emails and check it right away because you're going to see all the details on this beautiful property. That's number three. So number one, thank you. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. And number four, I'm saying... <laughs> And by the way, this property is not going to last. I have so many families scheduling their showings. This property, I would not be surprised if it's gone by this weekend. So what you're going to want to do is click the button below right away and schedule your showing. So mm -hmm. number four, I'm telling them to schedule the showing. And that's it. 
That's it. Oh, I just did the cal- Calendly the other day. Yeah, see, that's one software. We're going to need another software for the landing page. We would need another mm-hmm. software for the email autoresponder because when they opt in, that email goes out right away. That's an email autoresponder. That ain't Danielle or her assistant Gmailing them. That's a freaking yeah. email that is automated. So Who it's does landing- that? What's that? Does Kartra do the email autoresponder too? They do it all. That's why like I don't Mickey Mouse and have four different softwares. Like I have one, like one okay. software does it all. So I spend 99 bucks a month for it. And that's why like, I don't want you to activate it yet. Like we'll get there when we get there, which is normally on our next call, but mm-hmm. there's a trial and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then you can have a, a monthly account. But I only tell my clients, I'm like, dude, you only need it if you're going to stay consistent with ads which is what I want you to do. It's all about running ads. Like it's all about running ads. I think is the future of real estate and how to get these clients. You you have to, you have to brand Mm -hmm. yourself. You have to brand your face. You have to brand. And that's why when I see your videos, it gives me the chills. Like on your business page, I'm like, shit, she has what it takes, dude. Like I get fired up when I see videos of an individual because 99% of agents fear the camera. Like they fear the camera. That's why over here, when I look at all these damn listings, okay, here's, here's Ruth. Where's Ruth? She's behind the camera because she's too, I'm telling you, everyone fears the camera. Over here, it's like, dude, all images. Where's, where's freaking Anita? Mm-hmm. It's all about personal branding. The fact that you got your face all up in them videos, that's what's going to make you stand out. So yeah. now, 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 not only did I see Danielle's face on the Facebook ad, the video, but now I'm coming to her page. I land here. I see Danielle again. Hey, guys, thank you so much for your interest. This is Danielle with the Danielle Reese team. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so right here is where we're going for that appointment. We're going for that showing. And so once they click the button, that's when they schedule that showing that count, this calendar is, is synced to your calendar, just like you sync your, your calendly, but, but that's where the appointments were coming from. Now for every 10 people that land here, you're going to have, let's just say seven to eight of them that don't schedule a showing right here. They landed here, but they did not, they did not schedule a showing. That's yeah. why the email automation is so important. So, mm-hmm. so right away, that lead received an email right away with all the details of the, of the property. But let's say they're the seven out of 10 who did not schedule a showing. Okay, well, two days later, another email is going to go out. Hey, Dave, this is Danielle. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know a couple of days ago you inquired on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Let me tell you a little bit more, a little bit more about this property. Mm-hmm. That's an automated email that would go out. Two days after that, another email needs to go out. Hey, D- hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. Hey, guess what? Last night we had a freaking amazing showing. I had seven families show up to see this property. You're not going to believe this. Let me tell you a little bit more about and why you're going to want to schedule your showing now. And then, yeah. and then again, again, two days later, right? So that's all automated. That's those are emails that go out because here's the deal: you got this one listing that's going to go to one family, but what if we capture freaking 37 leads from it? What about the other 36 leads? They need to see other properties. And so now you have that lead. Now you can start nurturing this list with, with more listings or just more information in general. You now have that email. So that's where the communication is going to come from is when you automate the, the, the emails that go out after they opt in. So when it comes to a listing, that's why a lot of times in today's market, I don't even really recommend running an ad on a listing because unless, it's, unless you've had it listed for a couple of weeks now, you know, then maybe, maybe it's time to take some other actions and maybe market it. Yeah. Through a Facebook ad for sure. But ha- has it been on the market long? The one that you're referring to? Um, yeah, actually. No, no. I have, I have a couple that just came on okay. and then I have one that's been on for a while and I need to just do some other marketing on it. You know? Okay. So, so that one, that's, that's one we'll for sure want to run an ad on. If it's been on the market for a while and a, a while is what a couple weeks. Yeah. Like over a month. Oh, it's been okay. Well then shit. Yeah, for sure. Let's run an ad on it for sure. Let's run an ad on it for sure. But let we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta activate this this software first. So is that somewhat in the budget if we were to take on a software? You don't need Calendly. Like cancel the because with Calendly, Calendly Oh, I have the free, the free Calendly for now. You're gonna need to upgrade the the the, the free Calendly. And the only reason for it is because of this. When a if person people comes, have one, 10 seconds? Yeah, yes, for sure. So if, if, yeah, the Calendly one, here's the reason here, as I go, as we go into the next call, today's call was, was, was going to be on, on the intro video or running some type of video, 
video, mm-hmm. either the HGTV one or or your intro. That's what today's today's call was really about. But then we got into this listing funnel, and 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 this this is the whole back end of of how to properly run ads. It's to a page, but the Calendly. The reason why you'll eventually have to upgrade, that's why I use Kartra, because before you know it, you're going to have three different softwares and you're spending a hundred bucks a month anyways. I just use one and, and it's the same damn hundred bucks. But the yeah, reason why the Calendly, too. it's so, the, the reason why the upgraded version of Calendly is required when you start going into advertising, because when it's all said and done, it's all about custom audiences. That's what Facebook ads is all about. And I kind of mentioned that on our, on our other call, where when you're on a website and people and, and you're searching around and you look at that red bag and you click on it, it, but you don't buy it before you know it, you see an ad on the damn red bag, right? Mm-hmm. That's retargeting. That's what 99% of advertising online is all about. Facebook ads, Instagram ad, LinkedIn ad, YouTube ad. I don't give a damn. It's all the same. It's all about retargeting people who have engaged with your previous ad. A form of engagement is I either watched the video They're tracking that right now. Now, this is not an ad, so I don't think Ruth is tracking it. But if this was a Facebook ad, it's a two, it's a two, two minute and eight second video. She would be tracking if she's a smart advertiser, which I'll give her the benefit of the doubt and say she is. She would be tracking me right now. She knows that I watched 32 seconds. She knows that I watched 35 seconds. That is a custom audience. So when you when you put a video out. That's why when you got them videos on your business page, the moment we start running ads, we're going to start tracking those who watch it. So if you sat here and you watched 50 seconds of my video, there was some interest there. You might not have clicked. You might not have went to the web page. You for sure didn't give up your name and email, but you sat mm-hmm. there and watched 50 seconds of it. That's an audience. So yeah. what I'm able to do in Facebook is create a custom audience and I'm going to name the custom audience People who watched my video for 50 seconds. That's the name of that audience. The second audience is going to be when they click and they come over here, but they did not opt in. That's another audience. I'm going to name that audience listing page visitors who did not opt in. That's the name of that specific audience. Another audience is going to be those who actually click. And it's, ha, wait, ha. They're just going to go into these boxes by themselves? Audiences. Yes, because go we're going to set audience. them up. Okay. Yes. That's what we do on our next call is I help you. But it's but it's all about the software. We need these different pages because here's the deal. Mm-hmm. This link up here is for the landing page. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm able to tell Facebook, the video is one audience. Another mm-hmm. audience are those who land on this link. This is what I'm telling Facebook. If anyone lands on this link, Facebook, Put them yep. in a custom audience and name that audience listing web page visitors only. So they land here, but they never opted in. That's an audience. And why is that so important? Because as I go run my next Facebook ad, I'm going to target this audience. Mm-hmm. Right? They saw this listing, they clicked, they got to the page, but for whatever reason, they didn't opt in. Okay, let me show you another ad. That's a warm audience. They clicked. They came over here. That's a warm audience. That's someone I want to get back in front of. Another audience are those who actually click, opt in, and land on the thank you page, the second page. This page is so important. This link is so important because this is leads. So now I'm going to tell Facebook, hey, anyone who lands here is my listing lead. Mm -hmm. And why is that so important? Because now I'm going to take that audience and exclude them from seeing future ads because they've already opted in. Mm-hmm. So just like you, the moment you go back to that site and you actually purchase that red bag, you land on the thank you for purchasing page. Your shipment will be out in three to five days. Here's your confirmation number. That page has a link and they are tracking it. That's why you'll never see another ad on the red bag because they know you already purchased it because you landed on the confirmation page. Wow. So, so here's why Calendly, back to Calendly. The reason why that upgraded version is so important, you're going to have to, I think it's like 26 bucks a month for the upgrade. Oh, you don't version. want me to do that, right? No, I don't want you to do that. All right, so then because Carter does just it tell all. Me what you, just tell me what you want me to do. Yeah, so, so but I'm telling you, I'm telling you why you would have to. If it's not Carter, I would, I'm telling you, I'm trying to explain I'm just why. Saying, I'm just going to show you real quickly why I even thought about doing that. 
the other day when I was playing with, you know, all the all my branding nonsense stuff. Yes. So um, I, hold on, can you see my screen? Yes, I see your IG, yes. Okay, so I created like a links, right? Cause I'm mm -hmm. gonna do, I need Google reviews. So I'm creating a Google a giveaway. Mm -hmm. right? And we're gonna post an ad, like get, write me a review, share in your story and you enter to win like it was a Yeti cooler or something, right? Oh, awesome. And then it was like schedule a 15 minute strategy call. And I guess that took me to this. Perfect, if, perfect. If Carter okay. does this then. Okay, so here, so let, let, let's go through your flow real quick because this is what I'm explaining. Click, click on your Calendly. Yeah, open it up all the way. Per, yeah, can you, oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go through this flow. Schedule a call, schedule a call. I'm gonna show you why you're gonna, you're gonna you, you, you would have to upgrade. When it comes to advertising, when it comes to now Facebook ads, Instagram ads, whatever. So now as you go and schedule event, click the blue button. This link right here needs to be tracked. So mm -hmm. with Calendly, the problem is that you cannot change that link at the top. Calendly.com forward slash the Danielle Reese forward slash 15 minute forward slash invitees. That link needs to be your dot com. That's number one. Number one, that, that link needs to be your, your dot com. And, and, and you can't change out that link unless you upgrade. Number mm -hmm. two, your Facebook pixel mm -hmm. needs to be on this page. Because here's what's going on. Go back to it real quick. The Facebook pixel needs to track whoever lands here. Mm -hmm. So the link at the very top, now I need to put that link, the calendly.com forward slash the Danielle Reese team. Again, that needs to be your custom domain. But mm -hmm. here's the point. That link needs to be set up as a custom audience. So now I'm able to take this custom audience and name it scheduled appointments. Why is that so important? because now I could take this audience and exclude them from seeing future ads. They've already scheduled a call with me. They don't need to keep seeing my ads. Right. Right. So that's why at the end of the day, it's all about custom audiences. These links at the top is what it's all about. We need to track who's landing on what link. That's what it's all about. So I'll do the Kartra and then I could put that link here, right? If they yeah. wanted to schedule yeah. a call with me. Oh here. yeah. And then when they click, they go to the daniellereese.com forward slash schedule because that's going to be the name of, so it wouldn't be that link at the top. It'd be, it'd be your domain, right? Mm -hmm. And then your pixel would be on it. And that link would be set up as a custom audience. So we know who's landing there. Okay. Yes, that, that's, that's, that's that whole thing. So this is so, what I'm going to focus on after our call today. I'm going to focus on GoDaddy. I'm going to buy like maybe three links, the so Danielle Reese, and then like a seller, something about seller, something about buyer guide. Yes. Right? The Reese buyer guide, the Reese seller guide or something like that. And then yes. is there any other accounts I need? No, it's, it's, it's just that. And then, and then setting up a Kartra account. Okay. Um, Let's let me send you the link for Kartra. I'll I'll email you the link for Kartra. Don't okay. don't go to Kartra right now. I'll I'll email you the link and then just activate a fourteen day trial, mm -hmm. um, and then I'll help you with all that. I'll help you with all of that. So not only on the Kartra side, the reason why that ninety nine bucks a month is going to be worth it for you, D, is because mm -hmm. it comes with me. Like mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing else to sell you. Like ain't nothing else to pay me. Like you ain't got to pay me nothing else no more. Like mm -hmm. just activate the Kartra and you got me. So okay. you got all my support. You got all my funnels. Whenever the hell you need something updated, I got you. We jump on Zoom and I'll help you fix it. Like there ain't nothing else to pay me. So just that alone is worth the damn service. You know what I mean? Just to yeah. have me and, and have me whenever the hell you need me to help you with it. But I have a lot of funnels already done. The open house, a listing funnel, a seller guide funnel. I have all of it already done for you. All I got to do is transfer it to your account. So that that's going to be worth it. But what we should focus on is, is yeah, getting a couple links, seller guide, Something that 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 has to do with your your team name, seller guy. Maybe maybe the Danielle Reese the Danielle Reese seller guy dot com. Yeah. Right. Something like that. The Danielle Reese buyer guy dot com. Something like that. That that could be something short and sweet and and super effective. Get a couple domains and then and then work on the intro video. Okay. That's where we should. That's that's where we should start. And then and then maybe yeah you want to. Yeah, activate okay. activate a, activate the the fourteen day trial for Kartra, and then mm -hmm. and then on our on our very next call, let's run your intro video. Okay. And the reason why one one huge reason why that intro video is so so important is because, as I mentioned in the beginning, is that now we're going into local advertising. 
So the whole purpose of this intro video is to find our audience. So let's say, for example, we go into Facebook, we target your, your area, your city, your town, your borough, whatever you guys call it out there. We target that local area. And let's say when we set up the ad, the potential reach that Facebook's going to give us is let's just say, let's just randomly say 400,000 people. There's 400,000 people that are in this area. So we target them, 400,000 people. Now we're not going to reach all of them, but let's just say we reach, let's say we reach, let's say we reach 10,000 of them, which is super small number and super realistic. Let's say we reach 10,000 people. We get 10,000 views on this video. It's an ad. So we're getting 10,000 views on the video, but mm -hmm. out of the 10,000 views only, let's say 7,000 of them watched your one minute video for 30 seconds. Yeah. That's our audience. So now we create a custom audience. We name it intro video, 30 second viewers. Now that audience becomes our targeting. Now we show that audience our second ad. We show that audience our third ad. That is our warm audience. So that's the beginning is, is the intro just simply, it's not a pitch. It's not saying, Hey, call me. It's just, Hey man, this is, uh, here's why I'm so excited. Let me tell you a little background, about, a little bit about myself and why I'm so excited to help you guys. Let me introduce you to my team. Blah, well, blah, blah. Uh, one other thing I want to ask a question. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So I also kind of want to farm my town. Yes. And all I've done so far is like sent out a postcard um, to the town with like a QR code and it has a video of me and like the top 10 questions you should be asking a realtor. Oh, I love that. Where's that video? You got that video? I do have that video. Yeah. We should run that video. Okay. That would be good. And then like the back was, do you want to know what your neighbors are selling for? Scan here. And this bring, bring you, brought you to like that estimate. Like, I mean, that, you know, like put your, oh, put yeah. your name and email yep. and you know, that mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. This QR code brings you to the video. That's, that's, yeah. that could if you be scan this with your phone, I guess it'll pop up, but yeah, I will make sure. Uh, let me pull it up on my screen. So that area. same area, yes, that's that's our target. So every Facebook ad is going to go to that area right there. This is something. 